In this video, we're exploring a steel mill opened in 1908 and later abandoned in 1993. It was once a major supplier of steel on the East Coast and employed nearly 5,000 people during World War II. Left to rust for nearly three decades, it's finally been scheduled for cleanup and demolition. This is the rolling mill. In this building, the steel was processed through multiple machines to change the thickness and size of the steel. This would be great, like Mad Max theme. Well, I guess my outfit works, but... <laughs> the steel mill saw many changes in its workforce throughout its life, starting with hundreds and building up to 5,000 workers during World War II. The workforce slowly dwindled to just 600 before closing its doors in 1993. So about a minute ago, I just ran into six other explorers in the building. I stuck my head out and said hello just so I wouldn't spook them. And that scared the crap out of them, which was pretty funny. This was the electrical control room. It held the circuit breakers and the power transformers that fed the equipment in the main building. It seemed like about every five minutes I was running into another group of urban explorers in here. It was really cool to see people checking it out and also researching the history of the building as they were exploring it. This right here can give you a pretty good idea of the amount of contamination in the air. Wearing a mask in here is definitely a good idea. So you can hear all the noise that the wind's making right now. These are the locker room areas. The noise is something you just have to get used to in this place. The wind is always blowing and slamming the doors, and parts of the roof are just hanging off by a thread. This can kind of put people on edge the first time they're there, but once you get used to it, you just ignore it. It actually makes it kind of easy to sneak around if there's other people in the building because they're not really paying attention to noises. And I actually just ran into another group of explorers. That makes nine people in the last half hour I've run into here. That's why I call this place a tourist trap. But as long as people don't come in here to vandalize the place or burn it to the ground, it's a fun place to explore. This site is listed as a class two hazardous waste site. Once containing acid pits and contamination from chromium and PCBs. Much of the waste was removed, but the soil still holds heavy contamination. The smell of this building feels like it's burning my nose. It's a combination of rust, chemicals, and probably black mold. I wonder if Yankee Candle has a scent like this for nostalgic urban explorers.
without fail, I cannot go into any building here without running into ghost hunters. I had to disappoint them and told them that no one died on this property. It just went out of business and closed. It's still fun running into people here and finding out where they're from and what got them into urban exploring. This is what most of us call the blue building. We're not sure of the cause of the fire, but it destroyed this building and a few more attached to it. Going through each of these rooms, all you can smell is just mold and the charred remains of the building. It's not really a pleasant scent. I'm not really sure the exact function of this building, but up here in the ceiling is a bunch of cranes and lifts. So it looked like they were using this little area to possibly load or unload some of the uh, chemical barrels and things like that. This floor is actually really stable and it didn't give me any problems, but it's... Uh, definitely inducing a little bit of vertigo. have a wide array of architectural styles dating from the early 1900s to the 1990s. This building in particular I believe was built around the 1960s and I'm basing that on the style of air vents here which are common in some of the abandoned state hospital buildings constructed around the same time period. The complex is so massive you can definitely imagine couple thousand people living here easily if the end of the world happened. Well, let's see how many explorers we run into in this building. 